Kia ora guys, welcome back to New Zealand. December the 12th, 2020. Getting close to Christmas. I've got the weekend off. If I had been working, I'd have been across the road there photographing Christmas in the park. Now we've got maybe maybe 20 minutes, half an hour of sunlight left. And then round about 9 pm, something like that, when it's dark enough, there's going to be a, a good old fireworks display over there, there normally is for Christmas. And uh, that's my plan tonight shoot the fireworks display. Now what we're going to do is shoot the DJI Spark. Uh, I shot some fireworks with the Spark last year and uh, that, that worked okay. It wasn't, wasn't brilliant, wasn't tremendous, but it, it was okay. From where I am now there's a winery just in front of me. Beyond the winery is the expressway that runs down the centre of the region. Beyond the expressway is the sports park and in the sports park is that's where the concert is and uh, all the festivities are going on and the fireworks display is going to be in there so my in theory this is how it's going to work out this is if i've got things planned out okay fly the drone not too high but just high enough to get above the ridge line of the of the building there we're going to have the winery in the foreground we're going to have the expressway running down the middle and then we're going to have the sports park and the fireworks the pyrotechnics going off over and above that in my head it's going to look pretty cool, in reality, who knows. Now I've got one little issue, obviously for fireworks you need stability. I'm flying a drone, the wind thankfully has dropped, we had some cracking wind this afternoon but that's, that seems to have faded away which is good, so I'm not too concerned about that. I was down at the beach earlier on today and this flock of seagulls came in, not the band, not the, not the dodgy 80s band, quite good actually, a flock of seagulls, I like them. Anyway, this flock of real proper bird seagull type things kind of flying around the ocean they're diving in the ocean so obviously there's a shoal of little stuff in there and where there's little stuff there's kawaii which is quite a decent sized sort of predator fish and two or three people race down to the beach chucked in some spinners and they were pulling fish out left right and center that was pretty cool actually and then the wind picked up and we had some cracking wind all afternoon but now it's now it's quite still now so stability wise i'm not too concerned about the wind what I'm concerned about is a few weeks back, well maybe a month back now, I flew my drone into a building. It just would not react to anything I was doing to it and it just it went off on its own and smashed straight into a building. Hit the deck pretty hard, uh, bust two rotors which I've replaced. Then I flew it again and I thought good to go. And then I noticed a slight wobble on it. What the hell is this about? When I've looked underneath I've lost one of my little indicator covers from that corner there. I'm just applying a bit of gaffer tape to the missing to the missing lamp cover just to try and compensate for the missing weight and hopefully that I mean it's a totally unscientific experiment. It might work, it might just down its ass. And if it does, it gives me an excuse to get a new drone. Hopefully it doesn't down its ass. That, that's it guys, uh, just waiting for the sun to go down which is it's getting down and then uh, it's going to be a little bit of pyrotechnics drone photography for Christmas. I'm not a big Christmas fan, you know, when the kids were younger, fair enough, you've got to do. Uh, but this is my idea of Christmas, you know I mean, let the crowds play about in there, singing and dancing and all that malarkey. I'm quite happy to sit back here, chill out, fly the drone, make photographs. That's my kind of Christmas.
So I guess the obvious question is, can the DJI Spark shoot fireworks? The short answer is yes it can. I don't know if I could get a massive blow image of one of the photographs. But on the screen, look okay. The biggest mistake I made was not knowing how long the fireworks display was going to last for. It wasn't the greatest fireworks display I've ever been to. There was only a few occasions when there was multiple bursts in the sky. For the singular bursts, the stills came out fine. They were, they were, they were good, they were okay. Multiple bursts, the image just came out blown out, completely blown out with the, uh, with the burst happened. It, it just, yeah, it's unusable. From that point of view, a bit of a fail. Now I did shoot everything on auto settings, uh, which was probably my downfall really. Uh, I should have gone into the manual settings and just controlled everything as I see it on the screen. But again, the only reason I put it on auto is because I didn't know how long the display was going to last. And uh, as it happens, I wouldn't have had much time to do anything anyway. It was, uh, it was quite short and sweet. I'm quite pleased with what I got, really. It wasn't too bad. Now, on New Year's Eve, we've got another display, a big display in Napier. That's always a, always a decent, that's, that's always a good display. I'll set the spark on manual settings and we'll give it another crack. Until then, guys, hope you have a great festive one, wherever you are and whoever you're with. And uh, until next time, catch you later. Thanks for watching.